In this video, I'm going to give you a full walkthrough and an overview of a mobile phone editing app called Power Director. Welcome to our smartphone video editing series. In this chapter, we're looking at a editing app that works both on Android and iOS Apple devices, and it's called Power Director. Power Director is pretty much the closest you're going to get to a desktop editing app in a mobile phone. It's got some great functions, got some great features, and we're going to do a little bit of a walkthrough and an overview of what they are in this video. How to get started in Power Director Video Editor for iOS, Apple, and Android devices. I've broken this video up into three sections. One, how to prepare your footage for importing into PowerDirector. Two, how to actually import it. And then three, a walkthrough of all the functions and tools and buttons that are available. Prepare your footage for import. When you take a photo or film a video clip with your phone, it automatically stores the media in your camera roll or your recents album. At this early stage of the editing process, you have the power to make your life easy or make it very hard in the future. You see, there's something that you need to do before you open the editing app. Step one, you need to manage your clips into albums. It only takes a moment to do, but this will save you loads of time later. Make sure not to put more than 10 to maximum 20 clips in a folder. If you have more than this, group them into little scenes of clips that belong together and put them in separate albums. In your final edit, each album of roughly 10 to 20 clips will make about a minute of video, roughly speaking, of course. Now that you have a clean album waiting to go, we can open PowerDirector. Importing videos and photos into PowerDirector. The next major step on your journey to making a video with your phone is to start a new project. Tap to open the app. And if you've never made a video before, you will see the new project button right at the top of the screen. Select this and a pop-up will appear where you get to choose your project settings. First, name the project. This is very important so that you can find it again later. Then second, choose your aspect ratio. You have a choice to make a landscape video, which is 16 by nine, portrait video, which is nine by 16, or a square video with a one-to-one -one ratio. Choosing this depends on two things. A, how did you film most of your clips? And or B, where do you want to publish this video? Let's look at A first. If you filmed all your clips upright or in portrait mode, then you will also obviously want to edit in portrait. If you filmed in landscape, then edit in landscape, regardless of what you want the final to be. But if you have a mix of different types of clips, and I urge you to please avoid this because it's terrible, but then look at option B and choose based on the platform preferences. Here's a quick overview of what they are. On YouTube, stick to landscape. For Facebook post videos, you can go primarily with square, but landscape works too. For Facebook stories, you'll want to go portrait, for Instagram posts, again, primarily square, but you can also do landscape. And then for Instagram stories, it's definitely portrait. We at TravelVids personally prefer the landscape video as our preference because we like to tell stories on YouTube. We can't know what your preference of video is, but always please strive to film all your clips in a uniform way. Once you make your selection, you will be taken to your timeline with the media library tab open. See this here? This is your media library, meaning where you go to import video clips under this tab, photos from here, and music and audio from here. This screen will open on the start of a project automatically. Now, because you followed my instructions and placed your clips in a nice, neat album, you'll be able to see these albums presented right here. Select the album with your clips in it. See how nice and neat this is? Tap on the clips in the order you want them to appear in your edit. One tap to highlight and another on the plus to see it move to the timeline. At the bottom of the screen, you will see your timeline starting to build. 
You can also tap and hold on a clip to drag it down into a unique position. If you're unsure of which clip you're looking for, like in this case, these two look very similar, you can preview it over here. This one would come first and then we would place this one. You can reorder the clips in the timeline at any time by dragging and dropping them to a new position. Let's hit the back button now. This will take you back to the media library. Back again takes you to your timeline. Let's get to know the PowerDirector app layout. Along the left side, the menu has your home or your back button your media library, which we've already gotten to know, and this little icon, which represents your second editing layer option. This is one of the key features that makes PowerDirector better than most other mobile phone editing apps out there. It allows you to overlay videos and images and titles in a second or third channel. Like with your media library, when you select this, it opens options where you can choose from text title overlays to video clips and images and also clip art. Selecting these will bring them straight into the second track. When the video plays, it will visually always favor the track in the highest position. Here, track two is seen over track one. This is exactly what you need when you have somebody talking and you want to cut to and from them without disrupting their speech. Then we have the undo and redo buttons, which come in really handy when you're working on a small screen. Mistakes do tend to happen quite often and here you can just quickly undo them. This is obviously your preview window and on the other side of it is your produce video options. You will use this to save and export the video when you're finished. Below that is the settings in which you can master your audio and choose from a couple of different layout and function options. And we can explore these in detail in another video. This is the play button to preview your edit. And this is your timeline. This here is the main timeline or master track. And this is the second layer. You can choose to add more layers if you wish. Your audio will always be in a separate layer right at the bottom. This too can have multiple layers to add music, voice clips, and sound effects. This little icon that sits between your clips on the timeline opens up the transitions menu, where you can choose from a whole range of different transitions. To adjust the time of a transition, you need to tap on this little clock option at the top here. And then there is this little handle here, which lets you change the layout space between the preview and the timeline. This becomes important when you start stacking clips and need more timeline space. The last thing I want to show you is the toolkit to edit your clips. You get to this by tapping on a clip. A little trash can and pencil will appear on the side at the bottom. The trash is to delete a clip and the pencil opens up your tools options. PowerDirector has a wide range of tools. First and most important is the split to trim down clips. There is volume level adjustment, filters to add a variety of color grade presets, and there's quite an extensive variety in here. You can also do individual adjustments like brightness, contrast, saturation, and so on. You can adjust the speed of a clip, add special effects, and a whole bunch more, which we will look at in more detail in the next tutorial videos. PowerDirector pretty much has everything you could want and need in a mobile phone video editor. Well, that about summarizes my overview and my introduction to PowerDirector. In the next videos, we're going to go into a little bit more detail on various processes and functions, like for example, how to edit music or how to make use of the double layer or the dual layer editing system that PowerDirector offers you. So if you don't want to miss out on these videos, definitely subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell not to miss these next tutorials and I will see you then.